everyday experience, we are familiar with a number of manifestations of religion in life, in the parish, in our local churches, in the press. The presence of the church is seen in a variety of manifestations. But monasteries somehow tend to be mysterious. We think of them as faraway places in strange lands where unusual men are made with strange doings and prayers that are always of an unknown nature to us. But this that you now see is not in a far land or a strange country, and the people that you will see here are people that are familiar to us. This is St. Albert's College in Oakland, California, not very far from the Berkeley campus of the University of California. It is dedicated to St. Albert, who was a famous scientist and philosopher of the 13th century. So famous was he that he was known as Albert the Great. The life at St. Albert's is lived according to the prescriptions laid down for a house of studies of the Dominican order, known in the Catholic Church as the Order of Preachers. The entire life, of course, in any monastery will center itself around the church and the performance of worship that takes place within the church. Here we see the community at St. Albert's singing the daily high mass. All the members of the community participate in this daily activity according to their station in the community. Most will be members of the choir and everybody joins in the singing. Well, the choir, however, but the priest at the altar also is a member of the community and has had his training here at St. Albert's. He has come up through this experience of the daily chanting of the Mass to the high point in his life where he himself celebrates the Mass for the first time. Since the religious life is the following of Christ as completely as man is capable of doing, it follows the Mass which is the sacrifice of Christ, will take a central place there. Let your hearts be on high. We have them with the Lord. Let us give thanks then to the Lord our God It is fitting and just, right and healthy, that we should praise you, O Lord, at all times. But especially at Easter time, when Christ, our sacrifice, is offered. For he is the Lamb who by dying took death away from us, removed the sins of the world, and by rising restored us once again to life. And therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we sing a hymn to the praise and glory of God. We are now arriving at the Sanctus of the Mass, the beginning of the canon, which is the central part of the sacrifice, the entirely most solemn part. In a few moments, we will leave the church. We will leave the community at this high point of its religious day and fit in between this and the rest of the Mass some of the daily experiences of the average student's life here at St. Albert's. Next to the church, the classroom is the heart of the college because St. Albert's is not only a monastery but 
in a very proper sense, a college. There's a reason why it's located here at Oakland, near the campus of the University of California. A practical reason and a traditional reason. You see, throughout all Dominican history, this order has been famous as the order designed for the training of the theologians and teachers of the church. The greatest theologians of the church have been members of this order of Saints Dominic. And so it is that the course of studies here at St. Albert's extends for a full seven years, during which all of the wisdom of philosophy and theology, as well as such other subjects as church law and church history, the art of preaching and of public speaking, are all treated in detail. At the same time, the life itself is forming the individual to be the kind of person that can hope effectively to convey to the church at large the learning, the wisdom, and the truth that he acquires here in the monastic life at St. Albert's. So the classroom becomes a familiar center, in some ways, as I said, next to the church, the heart of the community. But also, the pursuit of learning is followed no less seriously, no less urgently, by the individual in his own private cell. For in the Dominican monastic tradition, each individual brother has his own room, which is his private sanctuary, a place where he is free to pursue the study of his theology, his philosophy, and the other branches of knowledge that are necessary for him in his present life and useful for him in his work later as a priest in any of the various Dominican installations to which he may be assigned. The necessity of private study is part of the total atmosphere of personal development that takes place in the Dominican House of Studies. The uses of the library, of course, are many here. This is not an ordinary college library which would have to cover the variety of knowledge that an ordinary college will attempt to teach. It is a specialized library of some 60,000 volumes devoted in detail to the philosophical and theological, historical, and legal wisdom of the ages. The business that we must know if we are to function properly in our later Dominican apostolate. The library at St. Albert's is from so many sources and so many dates filled with ancient books like this, many indeed which are pre-Reformation, some which date from the very earliest years of the art of printing as the one you are now seeing, but also the acquisition of volumes devoted to contemporary developments of a cultural, political, religious, and scientific nature is necessary. And for this reason, the magazine section at the library has an additional value because the wide variety of periodicals that is accepted by the library helps to keep the student in his more or less casual reading acquainted with contemporary developments both in the church and in the state. History, of course, provides the background for our knowledge of current events. And the continuing involvement and engrossment with the nature of current events will need lead to discussions like this, which we encountered by the fireside one evening during a recreation period. This is by way of being an argument among the students about how a person should most effectively attempt the difficult and skillful work of preaching. Discussions like this will necessarily require of the individual a sharpness of mind and an ability to concentrate on such details as are necessary for winning his point. And nothing is quite as useful as chess for this kind of precise thinking. 
But the mind is developed in other ways besides in this kind of exactness. You see, there are other fields of learning, other fields of knowledge, other fields of human experience. And for this, we turn to the ca classical traditions of music. The building up of a fine record library at our monastery at St. Albert's was begun many years ago and has continued uninterrupted because the understanding of the necessity of this has always been very vividly present, both to the students themselves and to their superiors. And here, by way of participating in an artistic experience, we see a rehearsal for a production of Julius Caesar by Shakespeare. Why there was a crown offered him, and being offered him, he put it by with the back of his hand thus, and then the people fell a shouting. Brother Lawrence, who was a professional actor before coming in the order, is the director of this group rehearsing for this play. Not only in the arts of entertainment, but also really in other fields of knowledge, learning, the Dominican Order has always tried to make his contribution, and here at St. Albert's, in this regard, there is a station for the observance of certain phenomena of the sun. Father Sherlock, seen here, tending his device for recording these changes in the behavior of the sun, has been recognized by the government as an official station for reporting his observations towards the national effort of acquiring knowledge of it astronomy and other information necessary, presumably also for the space work. Various arts, of course, will be a preoccupation in a life that's attempting to reach an understanding of contemporary events and eternal wisdom. We show here painting and the decoration of a piece of sculpture more as symbols of a general trend than as exclusive descriptions of what is going on. The care of the physical side of life, of course, is not interrupted. And many of the people that you see here, having rather a good time and showing rather remarkable skill in basketball, have been seen earlier in the chapel and will be seen again in later enactments of parts of the liturgy.